Hey guys, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanna do some sampling with you guys. I do have a little pouch here of samples. There are gourmand scents in this pouch and many of you might already know that gourmands are my favorite type of perfumes to wear, to sniff, to discover. So yeah, I've tried like one or two of these already but most of them I haven't. I have been very curious about these fragrances and hopefully we can find like a hidden gem or a love at first sniff somewhere in here. So I won't do all of them at one time. I'll just uh, do a few and just see how it goes. Okay so the first one that we'll be sniffing is this one here. This is from the house of Boucheron and it's called Fev Tonka de Canaima. All right, so I believe that this one is a new release. I think it was a new release, or maybe last year. Uh, but it's Fev Tonka de Canaima. I love the note of Tonka. It's one of my most favorite notes. So yeah, let's see how this one is. Mm, I can already smell it in the air. Oh, that is super, super pretty. So it's very soft, delicate, elegant. I'm getting a sweetness that reminds me of powdered almonds, more so than Tonka. I'm smelling more of an almond scent. I don't know what the notes are in this one, so <laughs> hopefully I'm right. But yeah, I'm getting a nice, soft, powdery, sweet, um, powdered sugar, almond, marzipan kind of scent. It's very light. It's not heavy at all. Uh, it's not thick either. It's quite an airy sweetness. It's cozy and warm. It's the kind of scent that I would want to spray on me and then like go under some blankets in front of a fireplace. Cozy like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Very comforting. Like a cuddle scent, I think it would be great for. Oh, I love that. I really, really like this a lot. So Fev Tonka. I'll just pull up the notes here. First of all, the bottle looks like that. So it's part of their exclusive or private collection. The main accords, vanilla, almond, sweet, woody, amber, nutty, warm, spicy, fruity, powdery, and balsamic. So the notes listed, well, first of all, it was released yeah, in 2022, so it is a new release. And uh, the top notes are bitter almond and violet. Middle notes, tonka bean, patchouli, and rose. And the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and labdanum. So yeah, I do definitely pick up on a very prominent, sweet almond scent. Oh, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's really, really great. So yeah, I, I really like this one. Fev Tonka de Kanaima uh, by Boucheron. I would say probably like an underrated scent. I already know that I would like this. I will of course try it on skin, but so far it's beautiful. Let's try another scent here. Next one is this one. And we have Tardis. This is from Carner Barcelona. I picked up this sample because I think there have been a few of you that have asked me to get my nose on this one TARDIS. So let's see what this one is. Okay. Hmm. Very, very pretty as well. So I am getting the same kind of like soft, fluffy, airy feeling that I got from the Fev Tonka. This is light, kind of powdery, sweet, airy, fluffy, 
I'm smelling some musk in here. Maybe some vanilla, some kind of sweetness or a nuttiness in here as well. Very cozy, comforting. Hmm. I think there might be some florals in here as well. I'm getting some kind of floral background, but I'm not sure exactly what kind. Maybe just like a mix of different flowers, but mostly it's a soft, elegant, sweet, powdery-ish kind of scent in the same family as this one, but I kind of like this one better already. I can already tell. Yeah. <laughs> Something that you would like to spray on after a long and stressful day. This is a very therapeutic kind of scent. I'm curious what the notes are in TARDIS. So let's see what's in here. All right. So there is the bottle. And the main accords in TARDIS. So it's almond, vanilla, powdery, sweet, fruity, nutty, aromatic, floral, musky, and woody. And then this was released in 2010. And the notes listed in the top are almond, Brazilian rosewood, rose, and geranium. Middle notes are plum, Virginia cedar, and celery. That's interesting. <laughs> Base notes are heliotrope, Tonka bean and musk. Okay, so this is another almond scent. Hmm. Well, I do get a nuttiness in here for sure, but I'm not thinking almond right away. It'll smell different on skin, I'm sure. But yeah, really, really pretty. Hmm. Okay, so let's do one more. And the last one we'll talk about is this one here. And this one is called Dama Bianca, and it's from Zerzhov, uh, from their Casa Marati collection. I have tried this one a long time ago. I don't remember much about it, if anything. So for me, it's kind of a first sniff, kind of, but not really. But let's, let's remind my nose what this smells like. Dama Bianca. Okay, so. Okay, so it's a very sweet vanilla perfume. The texture in here is very, very thick. Like, if you can take vanilla extract and condense it down into like a thick paste-like substance, consistency, Hmm. Also smelling some flowers in here. I'm thinking of white flowers, but not sure what kind. But mostly it's it's a very thick, very, very thick vanilla perfume. What else is in here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not getting much more than that right now. I have smelled something similar to this before, but I can't remember exactly what it is. If I remember, I'll just put it down in the comments somewhere. But yeah, very thick, dense, heavy, vanilla, floral scent. Maybe a little bit of powderiness in here as well, but that's all I'm getting so far. Pretty scent, but I don't know. I will have to try this on skin and see if that consistency smells or feels the same or smells the same on me. But yeah, I'm not sure about that one, but it's, it's a nice scent. It's not really horrible or anything, but not my favorite out of these three for sure. Okay, let's check what's in here. Dama Bianca. Okay, so the bottle looks like that. And then the main accords are powdery, vanilla, floral, 
Violet, Citrus, Musky, Woody, Iris, and Fresh, released in 2012. And then the top notes, oh, there's a lot of notes listed. Top notes are Kumquat and Lime. Middle notes are Iris, Violet, Lilac, Egypt, Egyptian Jasmine, Lily of the Valley. And then the base notes are Vanilla, Malt, Ambrette, White Musk, Sandalwood, and Cedar. Hmm, interesting that there's kumquat in here. It's not a note that I come across very often, but it's mostly just a very, very thick, pasty vanilla scent to me. Okay, yeah, this one requires more testing, but right now I think it's nice, but not my favorite. My favorite, um, you probably can guess, is the Boucheron Fev. Tonka de Canaima. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Almond and vanilla. Ugh, it just smells so amazing. It doesn't smell like hypnotic poison though, if you're wondering. It's very different from that. Also the texture is very different, but that is so, so pretty. I love that one. Second favorite is the Tardis. Hmm, very nice powdery vanilla. And then my least favorite, just based on these first impressions, uh, is Dama Bianca from Zerzhov. Mm. Pretty, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Requires more testing, as I said. So yeah, those were my first impressions on these three perfumes. If you've tried these scents, I would love to hear your opinions on them. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.